Hello, I'm Emily. I'm here with Amanda, and today we're going to be going through Module 10, Final Simulation and Testing, Activity 2, Lunasat Final Simulation Testing. In summary, in this activity, you will create a test plan for the Lunasat to ensure all the sensors are working as expected and that the Lunasat is ready for the mission. The goal is to learn how to implement a test plan. The materials and code needed. The materials you will need are two Lunasats, a computer with Arduino IDE installed, a bar magnet, two FTDIs and associated cables, the Activity 10.2 worksheet, Lunasat Final Simulation Testing to follow along in, and Google Sheets. The code you will need is the sketch Final Simulation Test. The location will be under File, Examples, Glee 2023, Module Sketches, Module 10 Final Mission Simulation and Testing, Final Simulation Test. Step 1. Create a Google Sheet. Go to sheets.google.com. Create a blank sheet. Title it Final Simulation Testing Team Number. Here you will put your team number. Label the first tab Lunasat1. the plus button on the bottom left of the sheet to create a new tab and label it Lunasat 2. Keep the sheet easily accessible for the rest of this module. Next, Lunasat selection and code setup. Open the code. On line 71, divide millis parentheses divide this by 1000. This makes the timestamp in seconds. Compile and upload your code to the Lunasat. Once that's done uploading, don't open the serial monitor yet. Next, complete the following eight tests exactly as described. Do all the tests in one go. The precise timing of each test is not necessary. Don't worry about recording data yet. Step three will tell you how to camp capture everything from the serial monitor. Open the serial monitor now and start the tests in order. The first test is to record initial conditions. The goal of this test is to establish a baseline slash background level for each Lunasat sensor before individual tests. Lay the Lunasat flat on the table and leave it undisturbed and untouched for 10 seconds. This will be your home position and use another test and also the Z axis pointing up out of the page. Test two, temperature sensor. The goal of this test is to determine if the Lunasat temperature sensor reacts to changes in temperature. Touch the temperature sensor with your finger for about 10 seconds and then remove your finger. Temperatures may increase by one to two degrees depending on your ambient temperature and your finger temperature. Test three, accelerometer. The goal of this test is to determine if the Lunasat accelerometer reacts to changes in acceleration in the X directions. Hold the Lunasat as stable as possible with a negative X axis pointed towards the ground for 10 seconds. Then hold the Lunasat as stable as possible with the plus X axis pointed towards the ground for 10 seconds. Return your Lunasat to the home position for 10 seconds. Test four, accelerometer. The goal of this test is to determine if the Lunasat accelerometer reacts to changes in acceleration in Y directions. Hold the Lunasat as stable as possible with the negative Y axis pointed towards the ground for 10 seconds. and return your Lunasat to the home position. Next, hold the Lunasat as stable as possible with the plus Y axis pointed towards the ground for 10 seconds. Then return your Lunasat to the home position. Test five, accelerometer. The goal of this test is to determine if the Lunasat accelerometer sensor reacts to changes in acceleration in the Z directions. Hold the Lunasat as stable as possible with the negative Z axis pointed towards the ground for 10 seconds. 
then return your Luna set to the home position. Next, hold your Luna set as stable as possible with the plus Z axis pointed towards the ground for 10 seconds. Then return your Luna set to the home position. Test 6 Magnetometer. The goal of this test is to determine if the Luna set magnetometer reacts to changes in the magnetic field. Bring the bar magnet about 6 inches away from the Luna set and hold for 10 seconds. Then return your Luna set to the home position for 10 seconds. Test 7 Thermopile. The goal of this test is to determine if the Lunasat thermopile reacts to changes in temperature at a distance. Hold your hand about 12 inches away from the Lunasat and hold for 10 seconds. Then about 6 inches away from the thermopile for about 10 seconds. Then return your Lunasat to the home position for 10 seconds. Test 8. Capacitive sensor. The goal of this test is to determine if the lunasat capacitive sensor reacts to changes in materials and mediums. Touch the capacitive sensor with a clean finger for 10 seconds, or turn your lunasat to the home position for 10 seconds. Next, full test code testing final step. Gently shake your lunasat for 10 seconds. This will be your end of data marker. Then return to the home position. Next, we will copy and paste the data from serial monitor in the next two slides. Note that you will need to repeat these steps for your second Lunasat, but not until you complete activity three. Step three, copy the serial monitor. Now that you have the data, we will incorporate analysis into it. On the serial monitor, unselect the auto scroll box. Start at the bottom and highlight the serial monitor all the way up to the headers that say time, TMP117, etc. Copy this block of data. Next, click on the first cell of the Lunasat 1 tab in the Google Sheets that you collected data for and paste the data that was copied. This concludes Activity 2 Lunasat Final Simulation Testing.